situation. Still suck. Still zero. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're in there, baby. But one champion who doesn't suck Ooh. is Silas, and he is the final pick of the draft here for C9. So that is actually, you know, much more concerning. Yeah. Uh, he is more susceptible to the ganks. Of course, he does still have cleanse, but uh, could be pretty dicey. And they're gonna look for a blaze olive. Diplex goes in, flash into the twisted advance. Bramble smash for the first blood. But Blabber will die in response as the gravity well from a blaze olive's victor. Everything to chase him down and really punish him on the exit from that trade. Diplex going in for the dive. Oh. Solos out a blaze olive. And both those ADs were basically on perfect farm, right? You know. There's no minions for the first minute and a half in the game. We we're about eight and a half minutes into the game, and it was yeah. 86 to 81 CS, right? So they are farming nearly perfectly on that bottom side. Uh, doing a re Revenge would have been able to find a kill there. I'm almost certain of it, but Fudge can walk it off. But now they're ready to try to turn it around back on Revenge, who ends up having to spend his flash there. If Kenvy can get something, it'll be worthwhile. Goes over the wall, goes to the ulti, flash out from Blabber. So Summoner Spell for Summoner Spell back in mid. Diplex versus a Blaze. A Blaze getting the better of him here at the start. Diplex low. Fleshy coming around to try to help him. Diplex stealing away the Ash Hall, but it won't matter. Immortals tie up the kill. Two to two. Back up in the top side. Kenvy wants to get away, but Sven has given the wild growth over to Black. Uh, not quite ready when they would immediately but want to use anything. it. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's not like they were immediately under pressure and Immortals were walking up as they yeah. were getting it low. So yeah, it definitely can make a really big difference. You know, if you're actually getting control, you spend your resources uh, to chunk someone down, then all of a sudden they just walk into the river, grab honey fruits, walk right back. Now you're the one who's actually really being pressured and Fudge getting very aggressive. Yeah. Flexing a bit here on Tactical, who's gotta be careful. Tactical and Fleshy both lost half HP to Fudge and he just goes right back in looking for the kill, but he doesn't quite have the damage he needs to find it. Flashes back away as Ven keeps trying to support him and Fudge grabs the kill on Kenvy. Now Tactical stuck in the alcove and he's gonna be the last man alive. It's a double kill over to Fudge. It's a triple kill over to Fudge. Spin that thing all the way around, a triple kill. Now then Tactical walks forward, starts autoing him. Maybe they were just saying, bait them in, bait them in, but oh god. Uh, well, that uh, one landed, that ash all landed. Adios. You know, throw something into the trash and then you put your hand inside it and you drop then it. Then you just like, drop it in. I mean, hey, it still made it into the trash pit. That's That's totally well, <laughs> come on, bro. Not really, but I guess. It's still in the bucket. Fudge gets slammed up into the wall here. Kinvi swoops in. But with Blabber ready to fire off his ulti, Immortals know they're not really going to find oh. him here. Arrow hits from all the way down in mid lane. All right, Fleshy with a nice response. But unfortunately, no way for Immortals to follow that up. They can't engage on the Maokai when the Fed Jack is behind you. to them. The dive comes in. C9 brought everybody to the party, and they're still ready to keep on going. First turret falls. Blabber top lane. Diplex already using that stolen ulti. A Blaze feeling confident to run after him now with that taken care of. Uses the ulti himself. Chaos Storm will tick away onto Diplex's health bar. But unfortunately, just getting hit by both parts of the Q chunks the Blaze Olive right back with the same amount of strength. He has Kinvi nearby, so they should be able to still take the tier one. And that will try to bring the game back a little bit closer, but for everything uh -oh. they take, Cloud9's looking for something else on the other side of the map. Blabber fires off the Maokai ult. Yes, it will connect under Revenge, but it connects too late. He's too far behind his own lines. They don't want to pursue this and overcommit. Instead, they'll fall back to the tier two, work to take that one out. Sven flashing away from the arrow of Fleshy. Minions will do enough damage to take down that tier two. It is a five. Always there helping him out when he needs his lane to be fixed, and then gets that triple kill down on bot side, gets two kills when they look for those dives on top side. Now you can't even approach this guy. He's basically Anything a but challenging right now. They're in total control of Summoner's Rift. Fudge has no fear whatsoever of anyone. The cooldowns on the abilities get pretty low as that ability haste gets stacked. It's why I wanted to bring up the point about the Frozen Heart. By the time he oh. ends the Counter-Strike, it's only five seconds away from happening. Like Checkmate pretty much in this situation here. Yeah. Immortals not going to be able to answer Bot, not going to be able to answer Baron. They're going to try to run down here and see if they can catch Fudge, but... Yeah, they want to dogpile him. They realize that's about the only chance they have. Tactical pops the Sivir ulti there. It can be providing the CC. Fudge is going to have... Nope. Nope. Wait. Hold on. Fudge might just be able to... Never mind. It's close. Never mind. There, I, I thought for no a second he was going to try to get all the way away, but then he just went back in instead. This game is not about him. Well, we've got the teleport showing up down here in bottom lane for Fudge. We'll lead the charge, and there's the follow-up from Blabber for some of the CC out of the Maokai ulti. Fudge dropping the counter-strike on top of everybody, but he will be killed. Immortals are able to fall back and focus fire the Fed player on C9 and take him out. C9 still managing to achieve the force down on both the tier three turret as well as the inhibitor here in the bottom lane. Berserker is still alive. It's time. 
Can the Zeri find the kill? Yes, he flashes forward into the ulti. He goes on the killing spree, and he needs a little bit more. He should be able to get a point where they need a Cloud9 mistake. This game is so far out of their control now, with Soul Point being Cloud9's situation. He's just jumping forward on you constantly here. It's a three-second cooldown on Leap Strike. You're not getting away from this guy whatsoever. That's a little oppressive. Immortals being forced back from the tier three turret here in the top lane now. Fudge stays on the front line. The Counter-Strike expires. He has to get back away. He barely survives it as Diplex is going to be focused next. C9, they committed. They got the tier three. Yeah, they're trying to get the, the TP at the very least from Revenge. Revenge is trying to prep his Meganar, and now he's going to TP in. Berserker gets stunned up by the Ash Arrow, but now they're ready to counterattack. Here comes Fudge, jumps in, finds the stun on three. They've already killed the enemy jungler, they've already killed the enemy top. They're not going to stop anytime soon. Fudge keeps leading the charge, and Blaze Olive has to try to kite it out. The Ghost might be able to get him away, but the Leap Strike is once again too fast. A double kill back to Fudge, and Blabber wants to run down the last man of Immortals. Ven and Berserker come flying in over the wall, and that'll do it five for nothing. 17 to 5 overall, the second triple of the game for Fudge, and C9 will walk it in. Cloud9, a really strong showing here today. Blabber, I think, played a near perfect game, setting up his lane for success, really enabling Fudge to get through those difficult early levels. And then Fudge just started to take over, winning those team fights, getting himself ahead, and really becoming unstoppable. C9 bottom lane duo also both remaining deathless by the end of this one. You talked about the quiet scaling of the Zeri. 